you know, we're using cameras and we're using microphones and software. Uh, I think a lot of people think it's all done in cameras and software. And actually, photography and even sound, and of course, video, uh, it starts with the fundamental is the lighting that's hitting you. And in microphone case, the, the sound that's hitting the microphone, but it's physical space and how it works and all comes together. Uh, and I think that's something uh, that, that people don't quite understand. It starts, it's fundamental, the physical space and, and the lighting that's hitting you. And no matter what you, camera you use, the right lighting will improve what it looks like. You either just have a fuzzier image of good lighting or a crisp image of good lighting. But I want to show you this. I did some experiments uh, with lighting. Now, here is my uh, natural lighting in, in the office. It's a window on my right. It's the only thing that's lighting me in this shot. Notice I have a lot of light on my right, no light on my left, and it's spilling onto the background. Of course, now I have to physically change that. And what I did, the next option, I turned on a bunch of lights. I've got eight bulbs to my front bouncing off the ceiling. So it's a very bright light source coming high from my front. And notice it now washes out the, uh, the lighting from the right. But I had to physically change it to do it. And better yet, uh, at, le at least for uh, an even uh, coloring, it's this. Uh, this lighting, and this is with the uh, window on the right closed. The blinds are closed. But what I had to do, it was physically change it. And I'm going to show you some other options that are, illustrate some problems. Uh, this is certainly one of the problems I've seen in uh, uh, on online meetings, is lighting coming from the side or any number of different directions. Uh, but here are some pro other problems I've seen. And this is almost not a problem. Notice that I have uh, the background is a little brighter. It's a small light near the floor shining up on the background. I might experiment with this some. It looks it looks kind of nice, and I'm going to put it to my uh, behind me middle, see how it works. Uh, but notice it is a physical change to the lighting that made this change. Now I'm going to cause a problem. Now it's so close to the wall. It's this big bright spot that's right behind me. Now here's the problem. The camera is seeing that extra light and it's probably waiting towards the middle of the uh, uh, scene. So since this bright light is near the middle, it's reacting to it more. This bright light were to the edge, it won't react as much, but it's adjusting the lighting. The lighting from my front, uh, from my front is the same as here, but the camera is adjusting for the bright light behind me, so it's making the entire scene darker. But notice what I did. It's a physical change that caused this lighting difference. And now here's another version with the light off to the right, shining back towards the camera. The camera's adjusting a little bit. Here's uh, another example where it's actually, boy, if the, bright, if the light was a little, uh, a lot dimmer, it would just be kissing the side of my face, putting a little highlight there. Now it's actually slapping the side of my head <laughs> to put that lighting there. But notice the camera is reacting to it. The rest of the scene is darker. Uh, and it was a physical change that caused this. If I had something like this, either things shining in the back, I've seen windows behind people with light leaking through. Uh, the only way to fix that, or the best way to fix that, I should say, is to physically change it so it's not there. And that's the first thing I want to uh, uh, talk about today. Mostly the only, the only thing is that physically changing the lighting, your setup. That's just what it takes. Um, it's not just click, click in the software, a uh, little adjustment to the camera or something like that. Uh, good lighting of, uh, or good photography and good videography starts with lighting and where the light falls. Now, you might want to experiment with artistic, but to do that, you have to control your lighting. Move things around so you control your lighting so it looks about like this, a big, broad light source, and then play with it. I'm going to show you this again just to get to the one, you know, to, to play with something like this, to go from this to this, right? Control it so you have lighting about like this first, and then play. What other? What else can you do? And control that lighting that's, that's shining on you, uh, if you're going to play. But you have to physically move lighting around. You have to physically change the setup. By the way, the microphone is best closest 
to the closer it is, the better. Again, it's physical setup. I move the same microphone eight feet away. It's going to be a much worse sound. But uh, resign yourself to the fact that you need to physically change your setup to improve the fundamentals. And that might mean as simple as getting some lights. It might mean painting your back wall as I did. It might mean rearranging entirely. Uh, it all depends on your priorities, your budget, and the time you have for it uh, as, as to uh, how much you should do. And that's my tip this week. Control your physical environment. Control the way light falls upon you uh, to improve the fundamentals of, of your appearance on webcam video. And Dave, I did, right? From yes, that time, did. I changed my location. So I yes. noticed that like, the last time, um, uh, all I did was just move my desk, my, my desk around. Um, last week, I had a picture frame behind me, but then the light, it was reflecting on the window. So it was still reflecting on the camera, making it darker. So all I did was change the desk around and then just close my window behind. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, that, that and looks looks, nice. it, right? and that's what it takes. <laughs> and it takes some experimenting. You had you had your frame last week, you found there was a reflection. So you changed. And that's what it takes. It's it is an ongoing process. To, to, <laughs> Yeah, you all you're always, always improving a little bit. So I'm so thankful for this for these tips because it's helping me look better on camera and also it gives me practice. Excellent, excellent. Thank you.